Greetings, fellow detectives. Welcome back to the Nancy Drew 2021 Streamathon. We have officially made it to the top 10. Treasure in the Royal Tower today. An icon, a classic. Stunning music, stunning location. Awesome characters with cool, cool subplots. All around an amazing, excellent game. Very excited to play it with you all today. Greetings, slightly respected. Greetings, Lux. Greetings, Mary. Greetings, Juan. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see all of you. How are y'all doing today? Looks like this is a first game for many, which is awesome. A first and a favorite. So much nostalgia. So true. Greetings, Dragon Slayer. Greetings, Kai. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you both. How are you doing? How did they transport the tower to Wisconsin intact? This is an excellent question. This is why um, Treasure in the Royal Tower ended up in my most unrealistic um, Nancy Drew games with no shade to it because we love it, but <laughs> it is still a question that we must ask. I am doing well, Lux, thank you for asking. Greetings, Amanda, welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you, how are you today? Alrighty, let's get this party started. So excited. So we are going to move this over. We're going to switch this over. Every brick was where it was when first built, exactly. Oh, Faith, thank you so, so much for the super sticker. The little thumbs up. I love it. Thank you so much for that support. That means so much. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I don't think I've even gotten to say hello to you yet. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. Also, why was the tower sold? An another great question. Greetings, Kate. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you today? <clears throat> Never finished this one. Pretty young when you played this one and got bored. I think I'll try to play it again soon. It's a lot of fun. I really like it on replays as well. Okay, let's bop over to OBS, which hopefully will behave today. Woke up not feeling well. Achy leg, ringing in your ears, special feeling this this will turn my day around. Well, I hope so, Dragon Slayer. I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Greetings, Tara. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. How are you? Listening on your Roku TV and chatting on your phone. Excellent. Top five faves, plus your first. Excellent. Like, did they just pick up the entire tower and plop it in Wisconsin? <laughs> it certainly seems like it. <laughs> You're doing super good. Yay. So excited caught the beginning. That's awesome. Doing all right. Laying around with the family dogs. Excellent. That's always good. Love this game since you were 10 and you're 27 now. Oh, that's amazing. This game uh, came out in 2001, so it's officially 20 years old. How crazy is that? Oh, Kate, thank you so, so much for the How's It Going Super Sticker. That means so much to me. Thank you so much for that support. The game is a classic. Oh, absolutely. We love the classics. All right, before we get started, today's stream is brought to you by the patrons over at Mystique Manor. Thank you so much for your continued support. The stream is also supported today by any super stickers used in chat, which serve as a tip function for the stream. Thank you so much for that continued support. And without further ado... Hi there, it's me, Nancy Drew. You're just in time for my latest Miss... Dear George, so much for my Wisconsin ski vacation. <clears throat> I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter Egan, how I could contact her, but he said he didn't know. Doesn't that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. All this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. That Ezra Wickford, the original owner, must have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. It's filled with strange, dead-end corridors, for one thing. And I notice one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. 
Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. Tell Best she'll be the first to know if he's half as gorgeous in person as he looks on his website. So, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan, but at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Now all I need is a mailbox. Greetings, Patricia. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you today? Give Hotchkiss a thousand drumsticks. She deserves a thousand drumsticks, doesn't she? Enjoy your lurk, Tara. Good luck with your cleaning. Okay, our locker combo, 517. Oh, Kate, that sounds so fun. For any special occasion. Surprised you couldn't contact Christy by phone. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier, and I think part of it has to do with the fact that we weren't here to solve a mystery in the first place. Like, we were here just on vacation, and then kind of just discover a mystery. And then it's pretty early on in the series, so maybe Nancy doesn't have as much of a reputation yet. Those could be reasons for not being able to contact Christy. Feels weird watching this cozy game while laying out by the pool. I love that. That is a little bit of an aesthetic difference, but I love it. <laughs> Greetings, Manal. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you doing today? All right, everyone. The very weird Wickford Castle menu. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What are you getting? What are you getting? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Better than nothing broccoli surprise. Anchovy heaven. Blech. Cheers to anyone who does actually like anchovies or sardines. I am not a fan. Too salty. I would probably get a chocolate mayhem, an odyssey to banana land, and a key to enlightenment lime pie. I'm getting dessert. I'm doing well, Patricia. Thanks for asking. I'm glad to hear you're doing well also. Anyone heard of the Krollmeister sisters? Yes? I believe so. That, that sounds familiar. Someone on Etsy will make you a copy of one of Nancy's letters, but it's written to you. That's so cool. If you know the name of the store, uh, Faith, you could shout it out if you'd like. Most boring room ever in this amazing castle. <laughs> With Sounds our like the radiator is broken. very loud radiator. The ribs with the creature of the night sauce, excellent. The chocolate mayhem, give me any meat. Yeah, there's quite a bit of meat on the, the menu. You got lots of choices. Feels like Icicle Creek, but with French, exactly. Icicle Creek Lodge, but make it French. You're drinking chocolate milk, oh my gosh. I have to have chocolate milk later. Didn't even think about that, it's perfect. Greetings, Carly. Greetings, Musical Blonde. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. Greetings, Kimberly. Also, welcome. How are you doing today? Love anchovies. and put them on your pizza. <gasps> Mr. Wizard Kitten does too, Kimberly. Don't worry. Well, not on pizza, but he always puts them in his Caesar salad. Which is a choice. <laughs> Very excited for these streams. Yes. Love these windows for sure. They're a channel who do Nancy Drew playthroughs and also a podcast. That's awesome. I'm loving the emergence of all of these um, fun, smaller Nancy Drew channels. Makes me very happy to see our little community. Not a big fan of chocolate, you're a fruit person. Hey, fair enough. I know lots of people who actually aren't chocolate people. They like prefer saltier snacks or fruit snacks. Totally makes sense. Greetings, Emily. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you? Hotch kiss to Earth. Come in, Earth. Chocolate mayhem. If it's what I think it is, I'll definitely eat it. Exactly. Okay, we found the elevator. I want to keep exploring on this level, though. I'm not done up here yet. Sound of typing. Refuses to chat. Well, fine, Hotchkiss. Didn't want to talk to you yet anyway. How do you eat anchovies? They're usually a topping on things. 
They're just very salty fish. Pizza, salads, that sort of thing. I do know people who will eat them just by themselves, though. I can't relate. Play a ton of Nancy Drew games for charity. Yeah, I've been seeing that, which is very cool. Fruit is so good. Greetings, Jay. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you? Greetings, Abby. Welcome this to the stream. Goes nowhere. How are you doing today? Having a lovely day. Thank you. I am having a lovely day. Hello, Kate's BF. Good to see you. <laughs> Virtually. Only thing I can really say against this game is the control mapping, meaning the movement coordination isn't all there. Right. I think that's a fair point. It's still still pretty early on in the series where we're we're a little clunky still. Gorgeous environment. I've hit the wall. I've hit the wall. Yes, indeed. I'm doing well. It's been a pretty low-key Saturday so far, which is always nice. I I enjoy a low-key day. Shall I peep? Ooh la la, I do believe I'll peep. Such a good line. Wisconsin, can you handle the view? Ski, Wisconsin. Peppercliff Farms, Pepperidge. Reference to Pepperidge Farms, of course. Wickford Castle, Butter Ridge. <laughs> I love that it's Butter Ridge. Really honing in on the dairy aspect of Wisconsin. Streams make you so happy. Oh, that means so much to hear, Abby. I'm so happy to hear that. Sounds great, slightly respected. Anyone know what year this game was released? 2001. It is 20 years old this year. Which makes me feel old. The navigation drives you up the wall. Yeah, fair. Hello, Dead End. My name's Nancy Drew. One of my favorite characters of all time, Dexter Egan. Hello, Miss Drew. Did you get squared away upstairs? Yes, thanks, Mr. Egan. My room is charming, but I think there's something wrong with my radiator. It hisses, and there's a clanging noise, too. Would you mind checking it out for me? Sorry about that inconvenience, but you're just gonna have to sit tight for a while. I'm the only one on duty while the owner's away, and around here it seems like even if it ain't broke, it still needs fixing. Last time I checked, there were only 24 hours in a day. And now, to make matters worse, there have been a couple of... incidents. Yes, Manal, this game would be so perfect with some hot chocolate or tea. What kind of incidents? Someone vandalized our historic library. Really turned the place upside down. The owner, Miss Lane, she's gonna be pretty upset. Absolutely, Mary. The soundtracks are one of my favorite things about these games, for sure. Why would anyone want to vandalize the library? I have no idea. I straightened up in there before checking yesterday and everything was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. Books everywhere and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls. I locked the place up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. Agreed, Kimberly. The art is so fantastic. Hello, Miss Drew. <laughs> wow, a hole in the wall? What do you think they were looking for? I can't tell, but somebody's definitely after something. Amazing, this game is older and still plays so well, right? Weird how majority of the games are turning 20 this decade. I know, it's crazy. Shrek is also 20, oh my goodness. Greetings, by the way, Emma. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a lovely day. What else has gone wrong? Well... This Professor Hotchkiss just called me in a terrible flap, saying our room's been robbed. I went up there, but she wouldn't open the door to talk about it. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. So what's she want me to do about it? Oh my gosh, Kate. <laughs> Same voice as the security guard. Ralph Guardino? I love Ralph. Sounds like you're swamped, Mr. Egan. Is there any way I can help? Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on him for her, but he won't deliver him. Says he's a ski instructor, not a bellhop. I hate to ask this, but if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it might smooth her feathers. Sure would smooth mine. 
Greetings, Ray Marie. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a lovely day. Yeah, and sorry about that. I totally forgot to post the time on the YouTube community tab, which I usually do. For some reason, I remember to put it on Instagram and Discord and then just forgot to put it on YouTube as well. <laughs> my bad. I was negative seven. <laughs> Can you do something about my radiator? Sorry, not yet. So how long have you been working here? A while. Okay. Wild. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. <laughs> Greetings, Pillow Craze. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Negative five. <laughs> Y'all are making me feel old. Same, Kimberly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wasn't born yet. Hotchkiss's entirety is a glimpse into my future. I love that for you, Abby. Hi, I'm Lisa. Did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Can you believe it? Greetings, Paul. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you today? Favorite game? Yes, this one's a classic. Yeah, Dexter just told me the library is a disaster area and that it's totally off limits. Too bad, huh? I'm dying to see what they did to it. Don't quote me on this. But I think Dexter has an extra key to the library somewhere around his desk. Good point, Mary. There are only three guests. I guess you've really got your finger on the pulse around here. Any other castle scandal I should know about? Oh, we got scandal, honey. Professor Hotchkiss is claiming she's been robbed, for one thing. But the real scandal is downstairs. His name is Jacques Brunet. Greetings, Allison and Elizabeth. So good to see you. How are you both doing today? 17 when this game came out. Excellent. Just saying hi before you go to work. Awesome. Have a good day at work. Greetings, Zipper Tech. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Lovely to see you. This woman repeats stuff over and over. 85% of the game without ever talking to Lisa. Yeah. This is true. What's the scandal with Jacques Brunet? Va va voom. Scandalous cuteness, of course. Didn't you watch the last Winter Olympics? He's France's big cheese of skiing. He holds the record for the 500 meter slalom, but he totally choked at the games. I guess he's washed up now, but at least his looks haven't gone down the tubes. Exactly, introduction to Hotchkiss, which we love. So who's Professor Hotchkiss? Oh my gosh, wait till you hear this. Hotchkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. I was walking past her door earlier and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. Oh, we got scandals, honey. Va va voom, right? Who are you, Lisa? <laughs> wow, did she say what was stolen? Not that I could hear. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth, but don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. Habla Espanol? Hardly. I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. And this place is one of the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? Man, lots of uh, younger fellow detectives here today. I feel so old. Greetings, Chloe. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? This is your first Nancy Drew game, and it's in your top two. Yes. That seems to be the case for many fellow detectives. Such a classic. Not a fan of her voice actress. Sounds too young for how her character model looks. Yeah, I totally see that. Also, she's such a gossip. That she is. I wonder why he was so antisocial. Creepy, right? I mean, did we stumble onto the set of As the Castle Turns or what? Well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. Exactly. Vava Voom is... I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. The new it phrase <laughs> that we must use. Make sure to make, make Hotchkiss say banana. I don't ever recall her saying banana. Hmm. Excellent, Faith. Greetings, Nicole. Welcome to the stream. Wonderful to see you. How are you? I am just about to be uh, 
in my, well, I guess I've said it on the channel before. I'm about to be 28, Mary. It's locked. It's locked. Classic, it's locked. Still never understand why she lies about speaking Spanish. I guess it's supposed to just make her suspicious. I think that's the idea. Hello, it's dark too hallway. Dark. I should take the elevator. Okay, and down we go. Love the music. Yes, the music in this is fantastic. So good. Okay. Now, I can never remember which one fixes the lights. I don't think it's that one. But we might as well fix them now while we're at it. It's too dark. I should take the elevator. Lots of walking around, although I appreciate that because that makes it feel more real. Um, oh! <laughs> Perhaps it's this one. You're the same age. You turned 28 in September. Oh my gosh, our birthdays are so close. Your mind is like a ravenous monkey gobbling up every banana. Oh, yes, there we go. Greetings, by the way, Jade. Wonderful to see you. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Eating lunch. Excellent. What's for lunch, Elizabeth? What difficulty are we on? We're doing senior. And greetings, by the way, Rachel. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you today? Okay, so it's clearly... Something like this. Aha! We fixed it. Okay. Cool. One of the switches on the top right. You were correct. You'll be 23 in October. Awesome. October is probably my favorite month. Because of the fall vibes and the weather. I love October weather. 23 in September as well. Oh my goodness. Subway, there you go. You'd think the tower would give tower staff would give directions or something. <laughs> a map might be helpful, this is true. Oh, Jacques's not here. What time is it? It's almost one. Oh, he's on his lunch break. Gosh darn it, Jacques. I needed to talk to you about ski boots. Okay, well I guess we'll keep exploring until about two. We have other things we can do. Not too much else, though. <laughs> Maybe Nancy needs to go take a nap. Take a nice little cat nap in the middle of the day. Your birthday's exactly a month away. Excellent. Should I make a binder cover or Earl Grey tea wrappers? Ooh, both sound fun. You're great. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Got stuck for weeks on how to get into the library. Didn't have internet in the house at the time. Had to wait to order a guide. Oh my gosh. I remember taking a long time to figure that out, too the first time I played this game. But when I did finally figure it out, I felt so cool. <laughs> Those victory moments are very fun. Okay, 517. Portrait of Anne of Cleves near Nancy's room. That's so cool. 31 in September. I was young once. Greetings, Countess. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you? The combination is 517, but it's not working. In November. That's exciting, Tara. Your birthday is very soon. Nearly the same age. Your birthday's in September, too. Oh, that's awesome, Ray Marie. Yes, my birthday is very soon. <sighs> it's like the North Pole out there. <laughs> Genovia, yes. The land I call my home. Oh, Princess Diaries are fantastic. Oh, hello, Jacques. Oh, perfect. You're back from your lunch break. Good timing, Jacques. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle Jacques Brunet. So, what brings you to beautiful Wisconsin? Greetings, Alex. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you? 
Anne of Cleves is the lucky one out of the six wives of Henry. Good to know. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Nancy Drew. I'm here on vacation. What's your excuse? Uh, my excuse? <laughs> my excuse? <laughs> Not a fan of his facial hair, Dragon Slayer? Well, this is an awfully long way from the French Alps. Did you come to Wisconsin Hi, for the cheese? I am here for Isabelle, mon petit chou. She's an American studying at the university in Madison, and I've asked her to marry me. That is excuse enough to be in Wisconsin, n'est-ce pas? And besides, I am not the first French work of art to end up here. Hello, can I help you? Do you need something? Why don't you hop up here? Huh? What do you want? Do you need attention? Do you need love? Come here. Come on up. <laughs> Mel is requesting attention but refuses to jump up. <laughs> Two were literally beheaded. This is true. We should celebrate your birthday. Yeah, my birthday is sandwiched by a couple of streams, so that'll be fun. Greetings, T. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Yanni scares me. He looks like a Ken doll. Using dial-up internet to get hints. Oh my gosh, those were the days. Mel! Greetings, Caitlin. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. How are you? Love how you spell your name, by the way. <laughs> Are you done? Have you been heard? Okay, bye. Love you. <laughs> oh, the cat. That cat life, though. Ah, so you came halfway across the world for love. That's a fine excuse. So, when's the wedding? Uh, uh as soon as possible. Exactly, Caitlin. <laughs> exactly. Why the rush? Do not ask me about the affairs of my heart, Nancy. Or I would think you are trying to steal it. But tell me, uh, how will you spend your time here, Nancy? I'm dying to have a look inside that library. I heard it was vandalized. Do you know anything? Nancy, a pretty girl should not worry herself with this type of thing while she is on vacation. Uh, I should warn you, Dexter is very protective of this place. He does not take kindly to people snooping around where they should not. I've never stayed the night at a ski lodge, but I have been to ski lodges before. Very cozy places. Don't worry, Jacques. The last thing I want to do is get myself grounded. Ciao! Greetings, Katie. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you? Second stream you've made it to. Hooray! First Nancy Drew game you ever played. Ugh, oh, such a classic. Ah, uh, Nancy, como ça va? Tell me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila, I make these hot boxes for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Nancy. Is Olivia shouting for food, Dragon Slayer? <laughs> that would actually be really cool, Pillow Craze. That'd be a fun mystery. Lisa told me you were in the Olympics. What was that like? Disappointing, frustrating, humiliating. Hmm, sounds like one of those valuable learning experiences you might never live down. Oh, you said it, Nancy. It was the worst day of my life. To fall flat on my face with my family, my country, and the rest of the world watching. The oh la la part. <laughs> Attempted skiing on a class trip. It didn't end well. Skiing is tough. I learned when I was a kid um, on a family vacation in Utah, and that was a nice way to do it. Do you know much about the tower that's closed off? I heard the original owner imported it from France. It comes from the Chateau Rochemont in a town in France near where I grew up. And Marie Antoinette used to visit this tower when she was Queen of France. Until she lost her head in the revolution, that is. Any other skiers or snowboarders in chat? Um, Cross-country skiing as well, Nordic skiing. That's what Mr. Wizard Kitten does. 
Have I said hello yet, Sophie? If not, welcome to the stream. Wonderful to see you. How are you? Got a busy weekend. Well, good luck. Dexter told me the combination to my locker, number 310, is 517. I tried it, but the locker won't open. Mm hmm, Dexter must be confused. Because I think that is the combination for number 311. Uh, try 311. I've heard that too, Emma. Can ski just haven't done it in a long time. Yeah. It's kind of like riding a bike. Your body picks it up again pretty well. I need to bring Professor Hotchkiss her boots. Do you have them? Uh, yes, I fixed her boots. Uh, but you should be relaxing by the fire, sipping cocoa, Nancy. Not running errands for Dexter. I'll talk to you later. Allez, bye bye. I only ski in The Sims. Fair. Okay, we got boots. We can check this locker. 311. I am very excited to spend some time with my Sims in Mount Komorebi. It is a beautiful world. I built a Japanese restaurant for it the other day because I'm continuing to work on my save file and that was a lot of fun. Hate to break it to you, Bess, but uh, he's engaged. Skiing since you were five! The only year you haven't gone in the winter. That's so fun! Greetings, Carrie. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you? Sick and coughing out a lung. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that, Carrie. I hope you feel better. Okay, Helen Carp. Alina Boyd. Tanya Lee Gooding. Lots of false identities. And also, she totally does speak Spanish. So basically, we know that we can't trust Lisa at all. And she's a liar. <laughs> That's basically what we learned from this. Oh, Lisa. Tisk tisk. Lisa and her fake IDs. Lots of fake IDs. Ooh, having a Twilight Marathon. There you go. That sounds fun. I've only ever seen the first movie. Greetings, Joshua. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. How are you today? Happy Saturday indeed. I keep missing the elevator. Would you consider releasing your save file? Yes, that's actually my plan. I plan on putting it in the Discord at some point. I'm just not sure how much of it I want to have done. Like, should I release a not fully completed save file because what I have I was taking notes on it yesterday and I have completely finished Willow Creek Oasis Springs, Magnolia Promenade Mount Komorebi and Henford on Bagley and Granite Falls so I have quite a few worlds that are like totally done and then I have a lot of worlds that are like halfway done like Brightchester, Windenburg and Newcrest are all halfway done in terms of like total renovation Greetings, Luna, and greetings, Skylarville. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you both. How are you doing? First and favorite Nancy Drew game. Love the music. Absolutely. What save file for my Sims? I'm working on rebuilding all of the Sims worlds and changing up some of the townies, putting in lots of restaurants and cafes and venues for kids, stuff like that. Have the entire book series, the OG black book covers, not the white versions, of Nancy Drew. I'm glad to hear you're doing well, Joshua. I am doing great also. A Johnny Depp sim live together. Yes, Elizabeth. <laughs> Love that for you. Should be a real castle, but it, sh it should be in your state. Yes, there you go. Would you live in a castle if given the option? That's a good question. I think I like the idea of living in a castle better than the, like, the actual practicality of living in a castle. Because, I mean, keeping it clean would be really hard. Keeping it updated would be really hard. It would probably be cold, and it would probably be creepy and haunted at night. <laughs> so it depends. It depends on the castle. Yes, hello! Is that Jacques with my boots? 
First Nancy Drew game played it to death. Excellent. Actually, it's Nancy Drew. But I do have your boots for you. Oh, good. Uh, boots, fine. Uh, thank you, thank you. Everything is fine. Uh, just leave the boots at the door, please. Hmm. Oh, and it seems I'm out of change. I'll just have to tip you the next time, Mandy. Think that's plenty to release initially? Yeah, and I was maybe thinking of, like, having it base game finished. So, like, maybe once I finish New Crest, then I could release it. It's Nancy, and I'm happy to leave the boots. But if you're not too busy, Professor... I'd just like to introduce myself properly and ask you a couple of questions. Questions, yes, yes, and proper introduction sounds lovely, but not now, maybe later. Why is there a painting of a Thornton in Wickford? Continuity. Slow elevator of slowness, exactly. Just feel very lonely with how big castles are, yeah. As I've gotten older, I'm starting to realize that I like living in like smaller spaces more. Sign you up for the haunted castle. Oh, you are braver than I. Hotchkiss. How many times she gives Nancy the wrong name, right? Oh, I should probably leave her her boots. <laughs> I love how quickly she grabs them too. <laughs> Speedy Hotchkiss. Refuses to talk to us. Cool, cool. Okay, let's go check our room. And our... More than likely not fixed ele uh, elevator, radiator. Eh, eh. See, this is where the navigation gets a little clunky. Greetings, Spectro. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you doing today? Could picture Hotchkiss hitting on Jacques. <laughs> Does Mel go outside? Starting, you're getting your Ember a harness so you can bring her outside to play. She's an indoor kitty, but she's curious about the outside world. Mel is a strictly indoor cat. Um, I've gotten her a harness and I've tried to use it with her before, but she is a huge drama queen when I put it on her. It's like I'm trying to like kill her. She, <laughs> she flops to the ground or she jumps all over the place. So like she's being electrocuted or something. So she's a big old drama queen about the harness. So Mel gets to stay inside. <laughs> love to live in a castle. I would definitely love to visit a castle and probably stay in one. I could stay in one for a long time. Maybe just not permanently. Is it weird the door closing sound is so nostalgic? That's not weird at all. I totally know what you mean. Let's just transplant the tower onto your house. There you go. It'd look pretty funny, but it would be pretty awesome. Don't know if Tennessee has any castles or not. I have found that a lot of states randomly have, like, at least one sort of historic kind of castle thing. Of course, Spectro. From Australia. <laughs> Can I help you? About my radiator, Mr. Egan. Do you think you'll be able to fix it anytime soon? Sorry, not yet. Hotchkiss called to report that she got her boots. But now I'm told that the light is out in the back stairwell. Could you check the circuit breaker in the basement and make sure it's working? Right, Rachel? Actually, I've already fixed it. Okay, we're really making progress here, kid. So, you go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her phone. Aww, poor kitty Luna. Yeah, there's just so many dangers outside. No problem, boss. I always love the design of Dexter's desk, right? What an awesome desk. Okay, Lisa's gone. Does she have a bed? I guess it's five. Okay, wait. Don't we have to talk to Hotchkiss and get her dinner order first? because we fixed the lights, because we're overachievers like that. Been to castles before. They don't really have any in Australia. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, my name is in Beatrice Gertrude Winifred Hotchkiss. Didn't you find her in a pumpkin patch? The queen has been pampered to the inside world and cannot be bothered to leave the house. All must come to her. Exactly. And yes, we did find her in a pumpkin patch. Um... 
pretty early on when Mr. Wizard Kitten and I were dating, we met up with my mom at a pumpkin patch. And when we were there, there were two kittens um, that had just been dumped in their pumpkin patch. And so they were giving them away for free. And I held Mel and it was love at first sight. <laughs> Ugh, Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions. Who is it? I totally agree, Countess. Ooh, Slovakia and Croatia, cool. I got to visit a medieval castle in Estonia once and that was very, very cool. Hi, Professor. I thought you might be getting hungry in there. Could I relay a dinner order for you? No, oh, hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules to keep me going. But tell Baxter that I am developing a powerful craving for couscous. Yes, couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, Fanny. Fanny. <laughs> Professor. Mabel and Sable, yay! Oh, a cat named Snitch. That's such a sweet name. We're now in the top ten. Exactly, Ray Marie. Wondering who Dexter's voice actor is? Someone awesome. I love Dexter's voice. Yes. Better give Nancy a discount, right? The professor says she has a hankering for, um, couscous. Couscous? Never heard of it. Tell her to order something off the menu. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. Thanks, Caitlin. I love our little meeting story, too. I also wasn't supposed to have pets because I lived in a like student type apartment situation at that time. So I had to kind of hide her. Rebellious. <laughs> do you know what happened to the other kitten that was found? Have you seen it since? I do actually know. Um, we assume it's her sister. We assume that they were sisters. And um, the daughter of the people who own the pumpkin patch has that cat. And I have seen pictures of it since. Um, it looks nothing like Mel. It's got long hair and it's like dark gray. <laughs> but apparently um, cats can have the same mother but different fathers and still be part of the same litter. So we're kind of wondering if it was maybe that situation. It's very interesting. Couscous. Um, where are you, Hotchkiss? Is that my couscous already? Ooh, that sounds fun, Emma. You have 13 cats? Whoa. <laughs> Does Nancy ever get her tip? No. <laughs> Sorry, Professor, but there's no couscous in the house. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, oh, be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you? Ta-ta. That's a great idea, Tara. Yes, Elizabeth. I actually love couscous. The texture is really fun. It, it, did you get the menu? Yeah, I know what you mean, musical blonde. Sure did. How about opening the door so I can give it to you? Oh, you're a sneaky one. Just slip it under the door, please. Nice and easy. No funny stuff. Yeah, I would say it is similar to rice. Because it's about the size of rice, but it's softer. It's got kind of a more squishy, bouncy type texture to it. Uh, oh, baby back ribs. Yes. Oh, chili cheese dog. Uh, 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 fried bologna sandwich. Uh, I'm not usually much of a meat eater, but, uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, please. Chicken, that is. Cluck, cluck. Sure. Fifty drumsticks. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. Rock and roll, dear. Sounds delicious, Skylerville. Oh my goodness. Do you also have a partridge in a pear tree, Spectro? <laughs> When I read that, I was like, three rabbits 
Three fluffy rabbits. Three flying parrots and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> wow, she's paranoid. Little round pieces of pasta look like. Can I help you? Just knowing his character, it's fairly fairly reasonable for an older man living in the Midwest to not know what couscous looks like. <laughs> Isn't couscous pasta? I think so. I think it's technically a kind of pasta. It's like a halfway between pasta and rice in a way. Greetings, Ariana. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Cluck, cluck. The professor has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay, then. Drumsticks we got. Oops, but I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Will you tell him? And then take the rest of the day off, kid. Your radiator's as good as fixed. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Right. Not much of a meat eater. <laughs> Proceeds to order 50 drumsticks. Aw, oh, man, no partridge in a pear tree. You have a big house, so it helps. That's awesome. Too far. Surprise there isn't a brewery near their ski lodge. I wonder if there is. There probably would be. Maybe Nancy just can't get to it because of the storm. Oh no. No. It's too late. We have to skip to the next day. Which won't make Shop sense. Must be gone. Won't make sense time wise. Um, because this is Hotchkiss's dinner, but she's gonna get it for breakfast, so. <laughs> Sorry, Hotchkiss. <laughs> Greetings, Hippogriff. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you? Can anyone really eat 50 drumsticks? I don't think I could. Literally had chicken drumsticks for dinner. That's perfect. We are just on day one, Hippogriff. About to go to bed. It's stuck. Oop. We got stuck. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can make it. Well, that's strange. Oh, you! <laughs> what would you do first if you were staying at this castle? Probably exactly what I'm doing now. I'd go exploring. I would go look at every nook and cranny. What is this crash bang bang sound? Love the clock, agreed. Greetings Rachel, welcome to the stream, it's wonderful to see you, how are you today? I love these games as well. Just catching up on the castle talk. The Castle Talk? Is that like a podcast? Because that sounds amazing. Welcome to Coffee Talk. <laughs> Already hit the elevator part. Yeah, this game moves quick. Okay, Nancy, let's go to bed. Hotchkiss is getting drumsticks for breakfast. And knowing Hotchkiss, I don't think she'll really have a problem with that. Alright, alarm. 9 a.m. We just missed Jacques. Elevator Shaft Death was your and your sibling's favorite. It is pretty fantastic. Your Burger King is named Hungry Jacks in Australia. Oh my gosh. Love it. Maybe we should have taken the elevator. Although, at least this way we get to see the nice hallways. Castle talk from the stream. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> that would be a really cool podcast, right? They just talk about old castles. That'd be a lot of fun. When it comes to chicken drumsticks, two is my limit and that I'm full. Yeah. They're filling stuff. Ah, Nancy. Como ça va? 
Next two streams are going to be on the shorter side. Exactly. Dexter needs you to defrost that big bag of chicken legs. Oh, la la la. What does he think I am? A sous chef. I'll talk to you later. Allez, bye bye. Yeah, and even Danger and Deception Island and Shadow Ranch will still go faster, I think. Okay, elevator fully and truly broken. But if we throw elevator reset, it'll probably work now. Greetings, Dreamy. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. How are you today? I hope you have a good day at work. I saw in Discord that the last workday wasn't very fun, so I hope this one is better. Casually learning about Australia while live streaming. Exactly. It's so fun to connect with fellow detectives from all around the world. Speaking of which, shout out to the fellow detectives in Canada. I know there's the wildfires are crazy right now. We've had haze here in Minnesota. Like, it's completely blocking out the sky for like the last three days because of the the wind picking up the haze. So I hope everyone is safe. And not just in Canada, I know there are um, a lot of places out west too. So I hope everyone is safe. Three things in common with Waverly. Let's hear it. Show on Netflix that talks about castles. Fun. Did you see I fix your radiator? I was in the elevator and it got stuck between floors. I had to climb out the top and I just barely made it up to the floor above. Do you think you'll be able to fix it? Well, I doubt it's broken. I'll check the power switch in the basement. Glad you're okay, but don't go climbing around the elevator shaft anymore. It's dangerous in there. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Yeah, I know what you mean, Skylarville. I think what enhances the replay value after that point is the um, nostalgia, honestly, and the story. Okay. It's locked. So... We have now reset the elevator. I think it might already be here. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. So if we go to the basement. I'm sorry, you're tired, Dreamy. I hope you get some rest. You're in Canada, it's been hazy. Yes, of course. Scary stuff. The haze that mysteriously appeared was from Canada? Yeah. At least the haze that we're getting here in the Midwest um, is from Canada. Nancy arrives and everything breaks. <laughs> Greetings, Kat. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you? Yes, this is such a classic for sure. Probably way too much money, Raymarie, if I had to guess. Wondering why the sun turned orange. Yeah, exactly. It's stuck. Okay, gotta find an oil can. Hello, what's this? <laughs> First game you beat on your own without a walkthrough. Yay. Ooh, the library. Let's explore. Oh, crap. Let's not explore. Let's not explore. <laughs> okay, okay. I hear you. Darn, you crazy old man. I know you hid that thing around here somewhere. The least you could have done was left me a hint. Uh, I don't have time to clean this up. I love that part. It's just so realistic that Nancy would be like poking around and like the second you find the library, you're so excited to explore, but then, oh wait. <laughs> You mustn't. You must be careful, Nancy. Okay. So we can use this to figure out the code once we get some dust. 
love this library so much. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel. The diary of Hans Axel von Fiersen. And I think this is supposed to be the one that was in love with Marie Antoinette, I believe. Greetings, Marlena. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. How are you? Thank you so, so much for that vibe super sticker. That means so much. I appreciate your support. Big internet hug. Okay, books, papers, an atlas of the United States. Wisconsin. The state flowers, the wood violet, animal, badger, deer, domestic animal, dairy cow, of course. Insect, honeybee, dance, polka. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. Has a 14th century chapel from France. That's so cool. Maybe that's what this game is based off of. Okay. Marie Antoinette, painting, purple flower. What do you mean you don't have time to clean, Dexter? <laughs> exactly, we're doing all the chores. Okay. Another book, true stories behind famous portraits. What's your love language? Very much words of affirmation. I'm a big words of affirmation person. Eau Claire is on the map. Yes. Good old Eau Claire. A lot of the people I went to grad school with went to undergrad in Eau Claire. Aha! Um, how do I back away? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Tell us again which games you still need to do a Sims build. Yes. So I need to do Beach Hill from Secret of the Scarlet Hand. I need to do the Technology of Tomorrow Today Lab from The Deadly Device. I need to do Blackmore Manor from Curse of Blackmore Manor, and I need to do Castle Finster from The Captive Curse. Those are the four games that I have not done any builds for yet. The reason it's those four is because they're all huge <laughs> and or complicated in The Sims. Okay. So if we turn this to 90 degrees, negative 15, 10, negative 5. Is Milwaukee on the map? Let's see. I'll check. That's where you live. That's so cool. Should ask some questions from others like on the stream what they would like to see. Yeah, do it, Alex. Okay, where's the book? Let's see. We've got Lacrosse, Madison. There is Milwaukee. Milwaukee is on there. Green Bay, Eau Claire, and Butter Ridge. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure is not real. <laughs> I don't think at least. Love language is passion for animals. I love that. Greetings, Olive. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Going back to Washington? Have you done Jacques and Dexter's apartments yet? I have not. Those would be fun, though. Greetings, T. Oh, wait, I've already said greetings. Thank you, T. <laughs> Thank you so much for the My Hero Super sticker. That's so, so sweet. I appreciate that support so much. Big internet hug. Which one of the four Sims builds are you leaning towards doing next? I'm leaning towards doing the um, Deadly Device Lab next. Because it feels the most doable. <laughs> Trying to build the main character's home from Fallout and the Sims couldn't find the right shade of blue for the siding. Yeah. Every once in a while that happens to me too, where it's like the colors are just not quite right. I want more like plain earth tone paints and wallpapers in The Sims 4. Love this library. Me too. I suppose it would be pretty easy to do a recolor 
so that could always be an option. Yeah, the Eau Claire campus is beautiful. Do you plan to renovate any of your previous builds since Cottage Living came out? I don't think so. I have been doing some uh, new builds, though. You guys will get a build next week for Wizard Kitten Wednesday. Utilizing Cottage Living. Yeah, this creepy little office is so cool. I totally agree, T. Just downloading some more Sims 4 CC. What kind of CC do you like, Elizabeth? Kaz build by... What's your thing? Let's see. He names all of his insects. Fair play. Tex. Secret of Shadow Ranch. Rutherford. Prudence Rutherford. That definitely looks like Prudence Rutherford. Mortimer. Excellent. They don't have a bright teal, but they have every other color in their sun, right? <laughs> so excited for the lab. Not to rush you because you can't rush perfection, but so hyped. Yes, I'm excited for that one too, Carly. I've played around with the idea of um, doing free build for The Sims 4 Get to Work and replacing the science lab with the deadly device lab. I've played around with that idea because I think that'd be fun. Yes, Olive, I am a speech language pathologist. I work in an elementary school setting um, with kindergarten through fifth grade students with communication disorders. House in the game is bright 50s teal with an orange door. We have an orange door, but no teal. Yeah, good point, Dreamy. Good point. I want more like mustard yellow, burnt orange, dark like forest sagey green type colors. I need more of those. Kaz and by Well, there you go. When he was bad, he was horrible. A whole scrapbook of all of the bad things. So sad. Love watching streams early in the night on the bed. Oh, that sounds wonderful, Pillow Craze. I'm so glad. Need to make Brady Armstrong's. Plan a Tinseltown restaurant. Oh my gosh. Love it. Tex! For your save file, did you limit yourself to certain packs for certain worlds? Like only use base game and vampires for Forgotten Hollow? I did not. Although because of just the nature of the worlds, most of the builds are like primarily using their home pack. So like the builds that I'm doing in Forgotten Hollow are primarily using Forgotten Hollow stuff, but not entirely. Because I like to use all the packs. And part of the thing I like to do with my save file is... Um, include a lot of different community lots because I just like for my sims to have places to go and that requires using like dine out in every world for example because I like to have a restaurant in pretty much every world secret little room always hurts me right it's so sad want more retro colors and furniture it's true dreamy we don't have a lot of those what's it like being an SLP that is a great question it is an interesting job because you're required to do so many different things as part of it. Um, especially if you work in an education setting, you are a teacher, you are a counselor, you are a social worker. In addition to like being a communication specialist, um, you are an advocate. So there's a lot of different hats that you wear. It's a really important job and one that I really... Um, one that I really like, but it also is a very stressful and demanding job at times. Three star seven two. Okay, we will remember that. I don't think we can... Can we leave the door? Well, we're going to go the fun way. Also, where's the oil can? Why would you make a scrapbook of all your kids' mistakes, right? Exactly, it's so sad. Felt so clever when I solved the secret room puzzle myself. Same Skylerville. It's such an exciting feeling. It's like, yeah, I did that. If you have CC or find CC with bright teal siding, send it to Dreamy on Discord. There we go. The Milwaukee Tribune. <laughs> 
<laughs> was that actually a real newspaper at one point in time? Because that's kind of fun. All right. I think we've gotten everything in here that we need. Because there's nothing else in here. We got the key. We looked at the sad little scrapbooks. All right. Back into the air vent we go. Reading the poem is the best part of the game. Yeah, I love the the poems in the early games. They're so just nostalgic and classic. Alrighty. Back into the elevator. Let's go to the first floor. You were four riding a bike and a big black swan attacked you. And you got off your bike and ran away from it. Scary! Big birds like swan and geese can be very intimidating. All your newspapers combined to the Milwaukee Journal. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that seems to be what's happening to most um, journalism sources. Ooh, yeah, Raymarie, I love that idea. <laughs> so what'd you find in the library? Please, Lisa, you know it's off limits. Oh, come on, Nancy. You've been on the prowl. I can tell by the sparkle in your eye. Ah, uh, yes, oil can by the radiator. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Aw, you're no fun. Nancy climbs down face first. Isn't that how you climb down a ladder? <laughs> so tell me more about the life of a photojournalist. It must be very glamorous at times. Well, there's nothing glamorous about the pay, I can tell you that much. Agreed, Faith. There was a little mix-up with the lockers, and I accidentally opened yours. Yeah, and? It seems you have more than one identity, Lisa. I'm just wondering if you are who you say you are. A savvy photojournalist always carries a couple of alternate identities, Nancy. When you're working under deadline, you don't always have time to play by the rules. I'm sure you know what I mean. She's at least a little bit narcissistic, Skylerville. No, I climbed down a ladder backwards. Oh, you do it the way that makes sense. Gotcha. <laughs> Does your job take you to exotic, far-off places? Well, there is a lot of travel. Too bad I'm so useless with foreign languages. I'm dying to find a way into that tower. Where do they usually hide the secret entrances in weird old Midwestern mansions? <laughs> I guess I should know, shouldn't I? Too bad most of the places I've covered aren't any weirder than imitation butter. I wish you'd hurry up and find it, though, so we can check it out. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pretty much everything is digital now. Greetings, Susan. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. How are you? I'm doing well. Lisa stands out as the only character with little development. Agreed, Cat. Can I help you? So, did you grow up around here? You could say that. Did you know the original owner, Ezra Wickford, when he lived here? You could say that. Did you know him well? They call it the past for a reason, okay? Because it's over. Fun, Spectro. So, do you know if Ezra Wickford had a place <clears throat> where he liked to go and think? Some place he thought of as a refuge? There was a private area of the garden. Yeah. The entrance was hidden, so no one could bother him there. Were you allowed to go out there? Once in a while he'd bring me out there and teach me about his favorite flowers, but that was like a, a hundred years ago. Do you think I could go check it out? Forget about it. There's nothing out there but dead weeds and crumbling statues. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Okay, but maybe I like crumbling statues and weeds. Well, if it isn't Dexter's Little Cinderella. When you research this place, did you find any references to a secret garden? Huh. Not that I remember. But I probably wasn't even thinking about gardens. I mean, it's hardly croquet weather. 
I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. Oh, Lisa and Leela. Yeah, I could see them sounding similar. All right, let's see if we can get outside to said secret garden. One of the best books ever written, by the way. The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Absolutely stunning book. Where are you, Jacques? Okay, Jacques on lunch. He's always doing that. <laughs> Ugh, it's like the North Pole out there. As a photojournalist, I both love and hate Lisa. Fair. Every time you play an American game, I notice all the American spellings and pronunciations a lot. Yeah. Understandable. It's locked. There are a lot of words that we do not add use to. Um that other English speaking countries do, like color. Oh man, a two hour drive. Good luck, Emily. Drive safe. People have to say the storm pass first. Yeah. I feel like we could handle it. <laughs> if we just bundled up, I think we'd be fine. You have this book. It's number 128 in the OG Nancy Drew Adventure Book Series. Oh, cool. Very fun. All right. Oil can. I think the elevator's still here. Indeed it is. Okay, is it 2 o'clock yet? No, not quite. Um, so if we go to the basement level, actually, no, what we need to do is we need to go to the first level or something. Yeah, we need to go to the first level. You're going to discover the secret passage soon, huh? Exactly. That's freezing. Run far away. Okay, we still don't have the key to the library so I feel like we need to go until night time because we haven't done any nighttime sleuthing yet so let's head to bed until like what 10 p.m. or something whoops Dexter should be gone by then Yeah, we just need toasty packs. There we go. Just borrow some toasty packs from Freddy. Good thinking. Okay, set the alarm for like 10 p.m. So confusing as a kid growing up in a British English country watching American cartoon shows with some of the pronunciations different. The one that always gets me is aluminum. Versus aluminium. <laughs> snoop, snoop, snoop. Let's see. To-do list. Um, okay, we basically did your entire to-do list for you. Just saying, Dexter. Okay, got my key. We love... Greetings, Sarah. Welcome to the stream. It's wonderful to see you. How are you today? Aluminium. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. <laughs> uh, I was telling Mr. Wizard Kitten about that, and even he laughed. Out of the context, so. <laughs> I was pretty proud of that. Oh, that is a really sad story, Rachel. I wish we had gotten to hear stories like that in the game. That would have been fun. It was hilarious as heck and so precious. <laughs> Please tell me that that's what you said to your dad when you were telling him happy birthday. <laughs> ah! 
button on the side of where the secret passage door is. Ooh. We're making good progress. Yeah, vitamins. Vitamins. Schedule. How do you guys say schedule? Schedule? I've heard schedule before. <laughs> Doing well, working, and then went and got some food. Excellent. What kind of food did we get? And now you're here. We love. Thought of hello, Dad, last night and started laughing out loud. <laughs> Excellent. That makes me very happy. All right. These things are absurdly loud. Pardon me while I make a ton of noise. The name of yesterday's stream culprit sounds like what we call trucks. Now I have to think. What was the other stream? Interesting. Yay, food! <laughs> Prefer the British spelling of theater. I do too, actually, Ray Marie. Opposed to the US spelling of theater. It looks better than the British way. I also prefer the British way of... Well, wait, which which way is the British spelling of gray? I enjoy G-R-A-Y. But I can't remember if that's the British way or if that's the American way. <laughs> Nancy, what are you doing here? I was just looking for the castle's soda pop machine. What you working on? I can explain, Nancy. But please, don't tell anyone that you found me here. If I get sent back to France, my fiancé will give up on me. And I will have let down my family again. True, Carly. British say G-R-E-Y. Okay, I like G-R-A-Y. I can never remember if I should say gray or gray. Theater is the stage, and theater is movie theater. Ah, interesting. Gasp. <laughs> See you later, Dreamy. How can you expect me to keep quiet while you go around destroying the castle? If you're willing to saw through this gate, then you must be the one who wrecked the library, too. Nancy, I had nothing to do with what happened in the library. I swear the tower holds a valuable French historical document. If I can find it and return it to France, perhaps I can make up for my failure at the Olympics. Theater the art form in theater the building. Oh, that makes sense too. Gray. <laughs> Excellent. I like that one best. <laughs> that buys up, right? What makes you believe this French document still exists in a tower that was imported to Wisconsin? 80 some years ago. The tower first belonged to the Chateau Rochemont in France. When Ezra Wickford bought the tower, my great grandfather was the master carpenter in charge of dismantling it and preparing it for shipment. One day, when he was working alone, he found a secret compartment in one of the walls. Hello, Hippogriff. We are confronting Jacques. A secret compartment? Inside, he found an old journal with a royal crest on the cover and a medallion with a strange blue stone in it. But he heard other carpenters coming, so he hid the medallion in his pocket and sealed the journal back in the compartment. Before he could get back to study the journal and return the medallion, the tower was dismantled and shipped to America. He never learned who the journal belonged to or what it said. Thank you, Pillow Craze. I appreciate that. Yeah, I know what you mean, Spectro, because there's also, like, Canadian English and New Zealand English and it just, well, there's tons of varieties of English, honestly. Love this historical backstory. Me too. Even though it's a little absurd, I love it. Journal! <laughs> what happened to the medallion? I have the medallion now, and I'm hoping if I can get into the tower, I can find the journal too. You see? He thought if he told his story... Ezra Wickford might get angry, accuse him of interfering with the project, and try to ruin his name as a carpenter. So he kept quiet. Anyone who speaks French, does it make sense for him to pronounce Janal the way he does? 
But he told you this story? I was his only great-grandson. On his deathbed, he gave me the medallion and told me the whole story. He begged me to come here to Wisconsin to find the journal and return it to France. Journal. Discovered a library with a crest on its cover hidden in the tower. <laughs> Lisa logic, exactly. What did he think the journal contained that was so important? The journal bore a royal seal. It must have belonged to Marie Antoinette because she used to visit the tower during the revolution. So perhaps it contains her confessions or perhaps it contains proof of her innocence. Either way, the contents of that journal could change French history forever. Yes, it does make sense. Okay. It's pro it's mostly just funny to me because he says it over and over like that. <laughs> I just don't see how you can think that journal will still be up there after all these years. I know it's possible that someone found the secret compartment when the tower was being put back together. But I have to check anyway. I just have to know. Nancy, do you think you could help me? Let me show you this medallion and maybe you'll be able to tell me what it's for. It might be newspaper? Oh. I don't know, Jacques. You seem pretty desperate. Why should I believe that you're not the library vandal? Oh, Nancy, you must believe me. I would never try to destroy that beautiful library. After all, most of those books are French. Now will you help me? I think this medallion will interest you. And maybe you'll have some idea what it's for. It's in my locker. Uh, will you go get it while I take care of something? The combination is 2665. I'll meet you in the locker room in a minute. Okay, Jacques. I am intrigued. I'll see you downstairs. Oh, you are the best, Nancy. That's what they tell me. <laughs> That's what they tell me. <laughs> oh, Nancy. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Can we... Yes, <laughs> just steal from a centuries-old... Uh... It's locked. Suit of armor. That's fine. All right. Time to go meet Jacques and get his medallion piece. <laughs> Most of the Aussie slangs. There's a lot of them that I don't know either. Jacques is like Alejandro, except in a game that focuses on character depth. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's a good point. Now this is where the fun begins. Yes. Likes everything French and wants to honor the country. Which is fair. That makes sense. Yeah, same Ray Marie. I can never tell them apart either. 2665. All right. Letters from Isabel saying, You best pick up the pace there, Jacques. Get that diamond. But after waking up in your room, you run away from the phone instead of answering it. You get a fun alternate conversation with Jacques. Oh, okay. So don't answer the phone. Immigration. Oh. <laughs> Thwap. <laughs> uh, oh, someone must have knocked me out. And I don't want to talk to them. 
We're gonna run away from the ringing because it hurts my hurts my ears. That's that's what we're gonna say. That's why Nancy didn't answer the phone because she has a headache and she doesn't want to answer the phone. <laughs> that makes sense, Spectro. Thanks for coming down. I've been wanting to talk to you. How's your head? Did you slip or what? Reminds you of never ending story. Excellent. Greetings, Book Dragon. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. How are you? The Diamond Book. Have a great rest of your day, Musical Blonde. Ask several people. No one else has said they ever know about it. That's quite the thwack noise, right? Greetings, Forever Insane. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? Lovely to see you. Well, let's just say someone must be trying to tell me to get a little more rest on this vacation. Anyway, I'm planning on making a speedy recovery. It's just that when I found you out cold in the basement and hauled you back to your room, I noticed all this red dirt on your shoes. I'm just curious where it came from. Yeah, I'm curious, Skylerville. Mr. Egan, I confess. I found my way into the corridor that leads to the Queen's Tower. As you probably know, the dirt in that tunnel is very red. I hope you won't consider this trespassing. Nope. If you must know, I'm impressed. Ezra Wickford set that secret door up so nobody would be able to find it. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with getting into that tower. Ezra told me that if I could get through the secret door, he'd take me up to see the Queen's Tower. Finally, I got into the tunnel, and when I came out with that red dirt all over me, he laughed. He was actually proud of me. <laughs> I'm not laughing at Nancy's pain, necessarily. I am laughing at the really aggressive thwap. <laughs> the noise is hilarious. That's an amazing story, Mr. Egan. I'm glad you're not angry. I guess I'm just as curious as you once were. I'd say you earned the right to check out the tower for yourself. But you gotta get through that gate, right? There's an old skeleton key in the maintenance shed. Now that the storm's passed, you can go out and get it. But be careful. It's still dead cold out there. Yeah, I've never gotten the red dirt comment either. <laughs> Greetings, Shatter. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. How are you today? It's your birthday and your family took you to the Reagan Library. You might get coffee. Oh my gosh, Bug Dragon. That sounds like a lovely day. And happy birthday. I don't want to press my luck with you, but I sure would like to see Ezra's private garden. Could you tell me how to find it? It's nothing but wasteland out there. If you're bent on tromping around in the cold, go left when you get outside, away from the shed. Look for a wrought iron gate. You'll figure out the rest. It's a good question, Cat. Going out for lattes with your family. Oh my gosh, love a latte, Luna. Enjoy. Any plans today or for the rest of the weekend? Um, mostly Sims. Lots of Sims. Probably going to go on a hike or two. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Greetings, Robert. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Au revoir, little Miss Nightmare. Let's see. I am going to take a quick water bottle refill bathroom break. I'll leave you guys admiring the um, static snow outside. <laughs> Hopefully the music sticks around for you both as well. Let's do a quick little save. Let's see. Stream. Okay, quick little save. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, Robert. All right, I will be back in just a couple of minutes. Red dirt in Australia. Does the tower lead to Australia? There you go. All right, be back soon.
Nick, welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. How are you? Let's see. Anyone else pop in while I was gone? Isn't this game supposed to be scary? I don't I don't think so. Message in a haunted mansion right before it is supposed to be scary. Butter Ridge is not real, but there is called a, a place called Butternut, and it's in almost exactly the same spot. Nice. I have a few words to say about that. About Midnight in Salem being marketed as her interactive's scariest game. Yes. <laughs> I do have many words to say about that. <laughs> Love this game, but oof, these graphics. I kind of love them. In a fun, nostalgic sort of way. Okay, we talked to Dexter. Hey, Nancy. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Later, Nancy. Yeah, Midnight in Salem. The best game, Midnight in Salem. Oh, Midnight in Salem. I have made many videos about it. <laughs> Like scary things. Like, Nancy, you always visit haunted places on purpose. Nice. Yeah, a lot of my favorite games are also the ones with scare factor. Now officially here. Hello, Nick. Uh-oh. Gosh, you are always on your lunch break, Jacques. Fine, we're gonna go outside while you're inside. Love Midnight in Salem because of the flapjacks. That is my favorite part. I will be, I will be honest. That is my favorite part. I want to go to the secret garden. There we go. Haha, -ha, yes. Secret garden with a vine. So pretty out here. Uh, it's freezing out here. Lisa is cringe. Have I said hello to you yet, Julia? If not, welcome to the stream. Wonderful to see you. This is the game I always have people play first. This is a great starting game for sure. <laughs> Excuse me, Midnight in Salem. Yeah. Not a fan of how they market it. <laughs> Gosh, I can hardly feel my toes. Created in memory of Eleanor Wickford. Nancy is very cold. It's because you don't have proper winter gear, Nancy. Time to see the Janal guy, or not exactly. We'll get to him soon. Victory music! <laughs> Whew, too cold. So scared of the Nancy Drew theme. Oh my gosh. I mean, it is kind of meant to be spooky, I suppose. Love this garden. Nancy, I feel you. Little jump scare with the scarecrow did get you a few times. Hey, that's fair. A Nancy! I heard you passed out. What happened? Don't tell me you lost my medallion. Did you? Right? The Deirdre jump scares for sure. I didn't exactly pass out, you know. And I didn't lose your medallion either. But I don't have it. Where were you, anyway? Weren't you supposed to meet me? When I showed up, you were having a catnap on the floor. Ugh! I would be ruined by you American women. Guess you'd better stay away from me then. Goodbye. Au revoir, little Miss Nightmare. Okay, yeah, so it's kind of just like a truncated version of the conversation. Interesting. 
scared as a kid of the old Nancy Drew Games opening where it shows an image of the game cover, especially Ghost Dogs of Blackmore. Just squint and hide behind your chair. Oh my gosh, I love that pillow craze. I can definitely relate. There were many moments where I had a blanket over my head while playing these games. Many moments where I made my mom come and stand in the room. <laughs> As if she would somehow protect me from the scary game. Zijonal. Fun fact, Danger on Deception Island. This is the actual number of times you should play the victory tracks. Oh, we never read the Marie Antoinette books. Okay. Major events. And... Yeah, Ray Marie, the original um, trailer for Midnight in Salem made it look like such a good game. Very sad that's not the game that we got. Hey, Nancy. Says a silly, a different silly thing depending on which dialogue you choose, but that's easy to find out. Gotcha. You've never actually played this game, Sarah? <gasps> it's a classic. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Later, Nancy. Yeah, Juan, there's the history of Midnight in Salem. Could have been so much better. Feel ju I just feel proud of myself for finding out. Yeah, that's really cool. That's what I love about the Nancy Drew games is finding something new every time, honestly. Hey there, Nancy. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. 10 when you play Deadly Device. Yeah, that one it can be very scary for sure. They do a really good job setting up the um, scariness of being around like a murder. Is that you, Brandy? Oh, I'm glad you're here. At the moment, my theory is rising like a magnificent souffle. I need to collect a few more ingredients, if you will, but it's a delicate situation. If I leave my room even for a moment, I fear the souffle will come crashing down in a heap. I think Eleanor Wickford is supposed to be um, Ezra Wickford's wife, and I think she is supposed to have passed away before Ezra adopted Dexter. You're cooking a souffle in there? Oh, don't take me too literally, dear. What I need is some information about the castle. Hard numbers. I've come to the conclusion that you are an enterprising and faithful soul. Therefore, I have decided to entrust you with this important mission. Who knows? If you succeed, I might whisk you away from the hotel business to be my personal research assistant. Yeah, Pillow Craze, her character should have been so much cooler. That's so fun, Spectro. Yeah, um, we get minus degree temperatures here quite a bit in Minnesota. Oh, no worries, Skylerville. Well, Professor Hodgkiss, I'm not actually in the hotel business, but I'd love to help. Marvelous! Here's what I need to know. On what date was the Bastille prison destroyed during the French Revolution? I'll be very eager to hear what you come up with, but please... Don't disturb me unless you have the answer. The date, I have never gotten this one before. The date the Bastille prison was destroyed during the French Revolution. I feel like that's something that you should know, Professor. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Storming of the Bastille. Stormed and captured the royal prison. July 14th, 1789. 7 14 1789 July 14th 1789 July 14th 1789 July 14th 1789 Thank you Ray Marie <laughs> Yes did you find the information I asked you for Sure did Good but I need you to write it down so I don't forget Yeah I have uh heard of those slightly respected very funny Thank you. Let me do some calculations to see if this is correct. Eureka! If there's one thing I like in a young person, it's ingenuity. Now, I've got work to do. Time to stir the cauldron and stoke the fire. But if you'd like to talk, 
I'll be holding office hours in the lobby between 3 and 6 a.m. Meet me then. Hashtag foodie hotch kiss in the flesh. Okay, what time did she say? Love the premise behind this game. Isn't it fun? It's kind of silly, but I love it. All right. To bed we go. Until we can meet her in the morning. May and Olivia were literally the only slightly interesting characters. And even they were pretty one-dimensional. Exactly. 3 to 6 a.m. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, it's just, it's just kind of frustrating. Because <laughs> the characters had so much potential and the original times we got them would have been so cool. Which is the time it is now. Oh my goodness. You are a night owl, Spectro. I'm awake between those times for real. Wow. If you type the numbers in the phone... Okay, thank you for putting those numbers in there, slightly respected. Yeah, this is a random Easter egg. That you can type in the phone and get some interesting effects. Cat. Greetings, Renee. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Oh my gosh, you too, Pillow Craze. Night owls unite. <laughs> random like why <laughs> what is the point of this <laughs> so strange exactly shatter like can we please get some better story midnight in salem had so much potential and that's the frustrating part I was born a night owl. Yeah, which didn't even make sense, exactly. Very out of character for Mr. Nickerson. Hello. Nancy, dear, welcome to the witching hour. Isn't it marvelous to be up and about when others are sound asleep? I find my brain waves are at their most powerful during this time. Oh my gosh, Megan Vargas' phone number? Love that. Yes, I happen to do some of my best work in the middle of the night, too. So, tell me, Professor, what is this theory you're working on? Well, you probably know by now that I'm a scholar of French history. <laughs> my specialty is Marie Antoinette. Oh, poor Marie, the most misunderstood queen of the 18th century. Marie used to visit the very tower that now belongs to this castle. I'm convinced that this place holds evidence that will forever change the way the world views Marie. But the walls have ears, so I'd rather not say any more right now. If you're really interested, why don't you go up to my room and have a look around yourself? You've been such a great help to me, almost like an apprentice. Oh, I've always wanted an apprentice. <laughs> Correct, Rachel. It was Mel. Meow. Thanks for that shout-out, Sarah. Wow, Professor, that's really generous of you. I'd love to learn more about your work, but are you sure you don't mind? I insist! Your mind is like a ravenous monkey gobbling up every banana in its path. Oh, how can I stand in the way? Here's my extra pass key. I get back to work at 6 a.m. sharp, so just make sure you vacate the premises by 5.59 and put things back where you find them. It's all scientifically organized in there. Scientifically organized, right. Hotchkiss! That's so cool, slightly respected. What did you mean when you said Marie Antoinette was misunderstood? Everyone thought Marie did nothing but spend France's money on jewels and fancy soap for herself, while her people were starving. 
History books have upheld the myth that she was just a spoiled and heartless brat, but I don't believe it. Why not? I believe that she's been the victim of vicious rumors and lazy historians for too long, and that if the real story could be told, people would realize that Marie Antoinette was actually a good woman who wanted to help her people, but didn't know how. Do you know anything about a tiara that was given to Marie Antoinette? The infamous tiara, of course! Oh, people thought Marie had this extravagant piece commissioned for herself, and they hated her for it. But really, it was her husband, King Louis XVI, who had it made for her birthday. Oh, she didn't want it, refused to wear it, and then, a few months before the revolution broke out, the tiara disappeared. I've always wondered how much of this game is factually accurate and how much of it is historical fiction. I've always been curious. Was it ever found? It was never found. There were rumors that she had it destroyed, but no one has ever been able to prove this. See you soon. Goodbye. Is that a reference to something, Dragon Slayer? She has an obsession with Marie Antoinette. Why not someone else? Yeah, good question. I think she kind of indicates in her notes in her journal and stuff that she feels drawn to Marie Antoinette's like personality and history. Like she feels like she can relate, which makes sense. Drumsticks everywhere. <laughs> Notes everywhere. And Velotype. Nice typewriter. Let's see what else we got. We got her boots, which we very kindly brought to her. Let's see. Simone Mueller's coat. <laughs> A medallion piece. Well, well, Hotchkiss. Such a great voice actress, yes. She's a genius. Yep, also voice topper. Oh, Splatoon, got it. Not a tiara, there was a necklace that Marie Antoinette hated that was extremely valuable. She refused for the cost. Oh. Do you like horror movies? I usually avoid horror movies because I'm a big old scary cat. <laughs> I get uh, very, very frightened by movies quite easily. Induce them charging. And something's missing here. I'm assuming it still needs to charge. Testing. Oh. Can anyone hear me? Hotch kiss to Earth. Come in, Earth. Oh, okay. I think I think we're rolling. <clears throat> now, let's get a look at these hallways. So rich in detail. You'd never know this place was built in 1920. It's all so 18th C. Oh, and there's Marie. I feel so close to her just being here. It's as if her spirit is in the air, sweet as the smell of fried chicken. Okay. <gasps> <Who? laughs> Put that back there. Um, and I guess we'll go talk to her now. Just strap that medallion, Nancy. Nancy's a bit of a klepto. <laughs> yeah, that does sound like a crazy story, Kimberly. That sounds fascinating. And originally for the previous king, he died before it was finished, so Marie's husband wanted to give it to her, but she did not want it. Wouldn't want to relate to Marie Antoinette. Fair, we all have our different tastes, for sure. Hello, my fellow night owl. Or perhaps I should say hoot hoot. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, did you find anything of interest in my room? The necklace was involved in a heist and a con and it was cut up and lost to the world. Oh my goodness. 
do you still get scared in a lot of Nancy Drew games? Not anymore. Um, when I would play a lot of these for the first time, yes, absolutely. Ghost of Thornton Hall scared me. Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake scared me. Uh, Shadow at the Water's Edge scared me. <laughs> Message in a Haunted Mansion scared me. But now I know what's going to happen in all of them, so it's less scary. I did pop in there, though interesting doesn't begin to describe the place. Would you mind if I went back another time? Of course not. Pop in all you like, just not when I'm working. Good old Hotchkiss. OG vlog queen, yes. I saw a letter on your desk from your friend, the Baroness von Hanseldorf. And I'm just wondering, did the medallion she gave you have a blue stone in it by any chance? Heavens no! Where did you hear such a thing? My medallion had a green stone in it. Anything else would be a mere imposter. A flaming faker, do you hear me? What do you think of Lisa Ostrom? That Leslie, yes, a oh, real dynamo, but... Uh, oh, I told Chester that I would not require any maid service during my stay. I don't know why she didn't get the message. See you soon. Goodbye. Who's the most relatable Nancy Drew character to you? I relate a lot to Ellie York um, from The Deadly Device. I also relate a lot to um, Rachel Hubbard and Kareen um, in Waverly Academy and also Jeff Akers. <laughs> Just those, those personalities I find um, very similar to my own. Didn't know what they were doing. Also mine, they didn't know each other. That they had issues. Yeah, yeah, I've heard those theories too, Emma. Her dress is a little chaotic, but I also like it. This is true. I could see it. I could see it. Okay, now we need the green one. So now we need Lisa to awaken. And let's go for like 10 a.m. She's been there at 10 before. Now that we are done night owling. And honestly, we've gotten... um. A lot of the things that we need already. So, let's go for about 10 a.m. History is written by the victors, exactly. So the idea that someone's story could be vilified is not impossible. Exactly. Yep, every, every account of history must be taken with a grain of salt. Because it is written with human bias attached. Hey there, Nancy. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. Shout out the Water's Edge Ghost of Thornton Hall still give you super eerie, spooky vibes. Yes, for sure. Ever find out what Hotchkiss lost? Yeah, well, she still won't tell me what was stolen. Seems like she's suspicious of everyone. Fine, don't trust me. But don't expect me to cover for you next time you're snooping around in that elevator shaft. Can't you see I'm reading? Fine, don't trust me. I need your medallion. Tell me to go outside. Tell me you saw Dexter being sus. I knew I was like Nancy Drew. I'm a night owl. Oh, yes. Nancy loves snooping around places in the middle of the night. Of the main Nancy Drew characters, who are you most like? Probably Ned. Probably Ned. Look, keep the stupid medallion. It's yours. Okay, we have now managed to make everyone mad at us. That's cool. That's fine. Okay, we need a key. We need the medallion. Key to the tower so that we can get in there. Can't you see I'm reading? Okay, what am I missing? Do I need to talk to cop talk to Hotchkiss again? Hey there, Nancy. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. Aw, I think you have a bit of all four. I'll I will definitely take that as a compliment. Thank you. How does she know about the elevator incident? Good question. Perhaps she caused the elevator incident. Okay, well, I think we need to see the rest of Hotchkiss's uh, video. Unless we can go look at it now, but I don't think we can. Yeah, not yet. Okay, so let's make 
Hotchkiss go to sleep? More than Nancy Drew, for sure. See a mystery you get is in your brain, for sure. Attracted to scary haunted places. You are braver than I. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. We're gonna see the rest of the video. Nineteen days before the meme spam. Uh, Three a.m. Most like best. Excellent. I don't know if I ever officially said hello to you, uh, Susan. If not, greetings. Welcome to the stream. Wonderful to see you. How are you? <laughs> Every once in a while, I forget who I've already said hello to and who I have not. Yes, dear? See you soon. Right-ho! This will happen to me every once in a while when I play the old classic games, as I know exactly what I need to do, but I've done things so quickly that the timing gets thrown off. So, battery. Oh, oh, what's this? It appears to be some kind of peephole, but what, pray, does it peep upon? Shall I peep? <laughs> la la, I do believe I'll peep. <gasps> the beauty, the colors. So this is what Helga told me to look for. Where's my medallion? <gasps> it fits! Note to self, high five team Hotchkiss! And what's this? A message? Eureka! It says the diamond! It says the diamond! All right, well. So now if we go over here and we peep, we can see la verite est bonjour libide de tout le monde. I do not speak French. Okay, blue. Vous trouver la solution de dan. And then we have these symbols. Beautiful. Okay. And we have the red one. L'espoir à sous qui cherchant. And those ones. Okay. Awesome. Good progress. Go team. Shall I peep? Want to go to dark and scary places and then I chicken out. Exactly. That's how I am too. Oop, not Lisa. Hotchkiss. Ooh la la, I do believe I'll peep. Yes, dear? What does l'espoir à ceux qui cherchent mean? Hmm, let's see. Well, espoir is hope, and chercher is to search. Hope to those who search. Right, Raymarie? Ooh, Moonscar Island. Well, that sounds cool. Can you tell me what this means in English? La solution se trouve dedans. Well, trouver is to find, and solution is just like it sounds. Solution. The solution is found within. See you soon. Goodbye. We're lucky she's a narrate everything out loud kind of person. Exactly. <laughs> we are very lucky. All right. To bed we go. Yes, Nancy thinks out loud quite a bit. Nancy will inconsistently speak perfect French when the plot demands it. Exactly. 
<laughs> very inconsistently. Which is always very entertaining. Hey there, Nancy. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. Bluetooth speaker that's connected to your computer died. Oh no! Can't you see I'm reading? Okay. <laughs> How do we progress? I'm stuck. I am very stuck. <laughs> I have, huh, let's see here. It's locked. Have you checked voicemail? No, I have not checked voicemail. Let's do that. Call best George. Lisa could leave you a voicemail if she's reading. Gotcha. Okay. So we've made Lisa angry. And she'll leave us a voicemail <laughs> instead. Good call. Alright, let's do that. Welcome to the voicemail system. Please press zero to retrieve messages. To leave the system, please press three. Not really quite yet, Sarah. They've they've stayed pretty much the same. Your sister and you made the same mistake once. Okay, well, glad it's not me. I bet, Spectro. I was going to say run, Nancy, run. First message. Yeah, Miss Drew, this is Dexter at the front desk. Can you come down when you're feeling better? I need to talk to you for a minute. Thanks. To go to the next message, press 2. To leave the system, please press 3. Second message. Nancy, this is your mentor speaking. Things are looking uncommonly out of sorts in here. I just hope I haven't had another intruder. Please remember that passkey I gave you is not for sharing. To leave the system, please press 3. Thank you. Goodbye. That's it? Welcome to the voicemail system. First message. Yeah, Miss Drew. This is Dexter at the front desk. Can you come down when you're feeling better? I need to talk to you for a minute. Thanks. To go to the next me Second message. Nancy, this is your mentor speaking. Things are looking uncommonly out of sorts in here. I just hope I haven't had another intruder. Please remember that passkey I gave you is not for sharing. To leave the system, please press 3. Thank you. Goodbye. Hmm. Um, okay, we're going to call Ned and George. <laughs> when in doubt, make phone calls. Hi, you've reached Ned at Omega Chi Epsilon. I'm not here to take your call right now, so please try again later. Thanks. Well, fine, Ned. <laughs> Greetings, Jack. Welcome to the stream. Wonderful to see you. How are you today? Hello? George, it's Nancy. Great timing, Nancy. Bess and I were just saying how we wish we were out on the ski slopes with you. Hang on, I'll get her to pick up the other phone. Hey, Bess, our favorite detective's on the phone. Hey, Nancy, how's the vacation? No, not yet, Skylerville. I guess I should have mailed that letter. Not only do I have a blizzard on my hands, but I may have stumbled onto another case, too. The castle library was vandalized, and one of the other guests says her room was robbed. Boy, oh boy! Have you searched the library for clues yet? Well, that's the thing. Dexter Egan, the caretaker, says it's locked up and off limits until the police can get here. But who knows when that'll be. That's funny, Nancy. I didn't know the phrase off limits was even in your vocabulary. Seriously, though, don't you think that your dad's friend, Christy Lane, would feel better knowing that you're on the case, at least until the police can take over? She's right, Nancy. I mean, who knows what this Egan guy is all about anyway? Sounds like you're just gonna have to find an alternative entrance to that library. Here I go again. Just hope I don't have to slide down the chimney. And what about this robbery? Who got robbed? 
I'm not sure. The guest's name is Professor Hodgkiss. I think she's a bit eccentric. You mean weird? Nutso? A few sandwiches short of a picnic? Okay, you guys. I just mean that I'm not sure how reliable her testimony will be. Yeah, but she'll probably tell you something important, whether she means to or not. Exactly, Raymarie, especially when I'm stuck. I am always open to suggestions. This is so weird. I found the blue medallion from Jacques' locker in Hotchkiss's room, but she says her medallion had a green stone. Wow, Nancy. Sounds like you need a personal medallion assistant just to keep track. You're not kidding. But does this mean that Hotchkiss is the one who conked me over the head? Do you think I should return Jacques' medallion to him? For now, you should keep all of your discoveries to yourself, Nancy. Except tell us everything, of course. Good point, Countess. Omega Chi Epsilon is an American honor society for chemical engineering students <laughs> at the University of Illinois. I didn't know it was real. Oh my gosh. So does that mean that Ned is a chemical engineering major? Hmm. Ladies, I need inspiration. Brain juice. A hint. Sure, Nancy, but don't expect us to give you the answers on a silver platter. We wouldn't want to spoil your fun, seeing as you're a senior detective and all. Help. I'm a little stuck. You still need the key to that iron gate in the tunnel, right? It's not in your bed. And it's not in your head. And it's not colored red. There. Does that help? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> it's not in your bed, and it's not in your head, and it's not colored red. Uh, okay. Okay, you two. I'll talk to you soon. Good luck. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> It's not in your bed, it's not in your head, and it's not colored red. Well, where on earth is it then? <laughs> it's in the shed! <laughs> Can't you see I'm reading? Which, can we go out there now? Even if Lisa doesn't tell us to? I'm going out there now. We're doing that. By storage, I'm not reading Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Never heard that hint before. I don't think I have either. I kind of love it. Let's keep everything. Usually just skip Bess and George, yeah. Warning, do not enter. Well, I'm entering. Let's see here. Nothing over here yet. Over here. Nope, nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, nothing over here. Oh, we don't need to fiddle with those yet. Um. Okay. Let's see. That's for that part. Maybe this is why I'm confused, because I usually come out here for the first time only after Lisa has told us to. But we've been doing things slightly out of order to the way I'm usually used to doing them. So I've gotten confused on where everything I need is. Like that key. Okay. Well, we're fine now, so... We can go unlock. Can always go in the shed once the storm has passed. Yeah, I think that's that's the issue, is that I was confused on the particular order of things. Because we got the blue medallion a lot earlier than I thought. Uncanny, the older games, Bess and George know so much. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they, they know quite a bit, don't they? Okay, let's go up to the first floor. Leaving to eat probably won't be back till you're done. Sounds good. Enjoy your food, Book Dragon. 
The graphics are awesome in this game. I love the graphics in this game. Out of order. Even in the future, nothing works. Three, star, seven, two. When you think about Midnight in Salem is an accurate quote. True. Okay, up we go. Into the vent. Okay. <laughs> I love the noise it makes. It's so good. And down here. You're getting tired now. It's 3.46 a.m. Oh my goodness. I'm impressed you've been up at all. Again, apologies for how gosh darn loud these things insist on being. Jess and George know so much sometimes makes you think they fabricate these mysteries so they can keep Nancy busy and happy. There you go. I enjoy that theory. All right. It's locked. Now we're in business. And across we go. Into the spooky dead ends. Up the spooky tower. Hate the dumb alarm system. Wish we had a lead pipe or hopefully a pistol we could shoot at. It. Uh, yeah, alarm clocks are not fun. I'm not a fan either. In the Nancy Drew games, I like them because they allow us to control time, which feels a lot more realistic. All right. We need to get all of these pieces to the right places. Let's see. Oh, interesting. What if we do this and then this oh wait what if we do hmm something like that perhaps something like that This one's definitely the easiest, so this one will be last. I'm wondering if perhaps like that is necessary, and then we could go something like this. But we gotta figure out how to get it to Hmm. Woo! <laughs> okay, what if we do this, 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 and then if we can get the blue piece to stop there? Hmm. Interesting. Why are there protesters in a small town like this? Oh my goodness. With stormy weather outside. Oh, perfect ambiance spectro. Love her too, yeah. That character honestly could make makes Midnight in Salem. You got a scorpion and crossing for the museum. That's so exciting. Honestly, getting the things in the museum is my favorite part of Animal Crossing. Let's see here. Hmm. I wonder if I'll do that. 
then how can we get the lion back into its spot? How did I get it there before? You have an idea. Let's see. Hmm. Silver coin to yellow line and then up. <laughs> hmm. Lion. Lion, lion. How did I do the lion before? <laughs> Very confused. Um... Perhaps I can do that. All right, there's that. And then this one. Here we go. There we go. All right, victory. Any new news from her interactive lately? Not that I have heard, Pillow Craze. Not that I have heard. Hmm. Okay. So now we can go up to the tower and solve some puzzles, which we love. We have Marie Antoinette's classic purple rose. And then we have this fun little jigsaw moment, which we love. Does anyone have any favorite puzzle types? Jigsaw puzzles, slider puzzles, what have you. goes there. That one clearly goes there. And then... Like that definitely goes there. That one goes there. And we have the thick golden lines up top. Like so. Mazes, yes. Cooking puzzles for sure. Victory music. Well, at least you did it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can anyone confirm or deny the war music track always plays when you first enter the tower? I think so. I have always heard that track play when we come into the tower. Or the same, the same track every time. That looks right. Here. And then this one. Oh, nope, this one goes here. Um except why does that look weird? Because it was weird, that's why. <laughs> that's why it looked weird. Okay, and then these little bedazzly things on the bottom need to line up. Sliders and word puzzles, for sure. Jigsaws, victory music. Put them together, glue them, and then frame them. Oh, fun! That's a great way to get, like, really pretty art. And make the puzzles. Um, give them, like, a second life, too, which is cool. My dad has been really into jigsaw puzzles lately. Which is fun. That's kind of been his, like, at-home pandemic hobby <laughs> that he has acquired.
let's see. That totally looks right. So let's see what this one needs. We need like a... No, not like that. Like that maybe? Yes, that looks right. Okay. This one... That actually looks good. This one... We need horizontal pieces. But also some vertical. Oh, wait. Is that correct? No, that's not right. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. Okay. Word scrambles, yes. Are they working on a new game? If you ask them, if you ask her interactive directly, if they are making a new game, they will tell you that yes, they are. <clears throat> but they have absolutely no information to release on it at this time and they have not since Midnight in Salem came out. So I am working under the assumption that if there is a new game, it's going to be outsourced just like Midnight in Salem was almost entirely. And it probably would be about the same as Midnight in Salem in terms of quality. Aha! Okay, that's closer. And then, let's see here. This looks like a good... Maybe work here? No. Is this one? Aha! There we go. And then... Like that. And like that. one is off. This one is not quite right. And so is this one. There we go. <laughs> do you like jigsaw puzzles IRL? Yes, I do. Super colorful. 550 is the perfect size. I haven't gotten to do a real puzzle in quite a while. But I love um, just nature scenes. Looks like a keyhole of some sort. Like Thomas Kincaid painting kind of things. Try to act asking her interactive on Facebook if they're gonna do a game set in Australia and they didn't respond or see your message. Yeah, and they really don't like respond to people most of the time. It's a little sad. All right, we have the journal. We need the third medallion now. And we need Hotchkiss to interpret the, the journal. So it is almost two in the afternoon. So let's go talk to the characters. Never played this game, but it looks so hard. <laughs> yeah, this puzzle. It was, it was making my brain go a little numb there, I'm not gonna lie. Puzzle hanging on your wall that's glow in the dark. Your sister made. It's got a fairy and flowers. That sounds gorgeous. I love that. Can't you see I'm reading? I wonder if she's left us a message now. And if not, we need to wait. We need to go until 3 a.m. for when Hotchkiss is awake. Just in time for journal. Greetings, Soap. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? 
Welcome to the voicemail system. Please press first message. Yeah, Miss Drew. This is Dexter at the front desk. I wish we could Can you come down this. when you're feeling better? I need to talk to you for a minute. Thanks. To go to the next message, press 2. To leave the system, please second message. Nancy, this is your mentor speaking. Things are looking uncommonly out of sorts in here. I just hope I haven't had another intruder. Please remember that passkey I gave you is not for sharing. To go to the next message, third message. Hi, Nance. It's Lisa. Sorry if I acted like a brat before. This article's got me a little stressed. Anyway, we have to be friends so we can gossip about all the suspicious activity around here, right? Wait till you hear what I just saw. Come talk. Bye. To leave the system. Come talk. I'll talk. It would be in the outback, yeah, probably. Did the whole staff really change who makes the Nancy Drew games? Yes. Shortly after Sea of Darkness was released, pretty much um, a good chunk of the original staff was downsized, like a good chunk of them were let go, and then the re basically the entirety of Midnight in Salem was outsourced. We must storm the building and assert power. <laughs> Glad you came down to talk. Get this. I saw Dexter walking out to the maintenance shack with this, like, green ornament thing in his hand. He's up to something, right? Maybe you should check it out. If you're so interested, why don't you go check it out yourself? I'd love to, but I really should get to work on my article. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Later, Nancy. Oh, you're getting your wisdom teeth out on the third. A bit anxious about it, won't lie. That's totally understandable, Soap. I was anxious before I got my um, wisdom teeth taken out, too, because it's kind of like a big, scary thing. What helped me is knowing that they do so many wisdom teeth procedures, and the chances of things going wrong are very, very low. And the pain goes away fairly quickly, too. Lots of ways to manage the pain as well. So I totally understand how you're feeling. But you got this. Look, keep the stupid medallion. It's yours. Staring at your screen for the last hour, wondering what's going on. Think I'm in a writing mood, so I'm gonna go write. There you go, Skylerville. Enjoy your writing. A few old towns in Australia that would be cool to see for sure. Yeah, that's the hard part about just, like, going to one country, is there's so many cool things to do and see that it's hard to pick just one. It's a big rat. Hi, buddy. I think he's cute, personally. <laughs> I like rats. Ooh, get that snack, Rachel. If I don't get inside soon, I'll freeze to death. I've always loved the overlapping of the danger music and the victory music at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, and four. Have a great rest of your day. What the? What's going on out here? Is that you, Nancy? <sighs> Come inside. It's freezing out here. What kind of a stunt was that, Missy? <laughs> Coats and clues to Midnight in Salem. I was freezing. That stunt was my version of an SOS. Well then, what can I say except good thinking? Not me eating a whole pizza by myself. Definitely have done that as well, Abby. You enjoy that pizza. Victory music plays while Nancy's freezing to death. <laughs> exactly. Okay, 3 a.m. Get writing moods too, but usually they're really late at night when you should be in bed. 
I totally know what you mean. Those creativity bursts can come at very inopportune times. It's like, oh, now I feel inspired to build in The Sims? Now? <laughs> Le diamant de ma misere dans mon journal. Again, I don't speak French. <laughs> Do not speak French. But you know who does speak French? The professor. See you later, Emma. Have a good day at work. Who is going to translate yes, this dear? journal? Can you translate this for me? Le diamant de misère dans mon journal. Now, where the heck have I seen that phrase before? Well, well anyway, it means the diamond of misery in my journal. I found something that I think you'll be very interested in. It seems to be some kind of journal. I think it was written by Marie Antoinette herself. What? Let me see that. <gasps> this is it. I've been trying to track this down for 15 years. Where on earth did you find it? Of course, Abby. <laughs> Good point, Ray Marie. What is Dexter doing without a coat? Well, it's a long story. But I happen to find a way into the Queen's Tower, where I happen to find a secret compartment. I think this must be what the Vandal was after. Nancy, I must warn you. I'll wrestle you for this if I have to, and it won't be pretty. Greetings, Tanya. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Yes, the alarm clock sound is frustratingly real. <laughs> I'm sure physical combat won't be necessary, Professor. I'm glad to help you with your work. But I need your assistance in return. You're fluent in French, aren't you? Absolutely. I'll get to work on it right away. I'll have the translation ready in my room for you this time tomorrow. Until then, I mustn't be disturbed. Are there any, like, outback um, ghost towns, Spectro? Because I feel like we could get some fun Shadow Ranch type vibes, but in Australia with that kind of scenario. Okay, she mustn't be disturbed. So, we have to wait until the next day. I guess we could, I think we can talk to Lisa in the morning about how she sent us out into the cold. And then we'll set it for 3 a.m. again. <laughs> Very strange um, time schedule Nancy's got going on here, but it'll work. The diamond of misery in my journal. Yeah, because journal translates to library, <laughs> according to the culprit. Hey there, Nancy. You've been holding out on me, Mr. Egan. I read in an old issue of the Daily Telegraph that you grew up here right in this castle. All right, I did live here for a few years, once upon a time. I was an orphan until Ezra Wickford came along and adopted me. But I left the castle when I was 16, and I never saw him again. That's the story, all right? Right, Tanya? Nancy finds it in a few days. But why did you leave? Some things can't be explained, kid. It was a long time ago, and nothing can change it now. I'll rest you for this and it won't be pretty. I want to see it, honestly. Why are those holes in the crest on the floor of the tower room? I can help you, but we shouldn't talk about it now. Not here. Call me later. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Yeah, the Enchanted Track is so good. Redo Hotchkiss's cottage now that there's a cottage living pack. I was pretty happy with how the cottage turned out, so probably not. Um, but I am doing cottages for other characters. Nancy, I heard you got locked out. You could have frozen to death. So, what was Dexter hiding out there? <laughs> Your uncle didn't live in the ghost town? That makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. It just looked like your average maintenance shed to me. So, um, next time you give me a hot tip, Lisa? It better come with some earmuffs. Huh, I thought for sure I was on to something. I still think Dexter's shady. 
I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted. Oh yeah, that would be cool, Ray Marie. Yes, Skylerville, we are nearing the end. We're gonna get the journal translation from Hotchkiss and be good to go, pretty much. I feel like you'd be a Buffy pan. Bu Buffy pan. Buffy fan is your hunch correct. I have actually not watched Buffy, but it is entirely possible that I would in fact be a fan. So I can neither confirm nor deny. Lots of abandoned buildings in Australia too. Ooh, spooky. Abandoned buildings make for great mysteries. Nancy's really just doing a lot of sleeping on this vacation. Which, you know, fair. I'm so glad you stopped by. I've translated the entire journal. It's fabulous. And as an added bonus, it includes Marie's official decoder. Something no one else has ever found before. See you soon. Goodbye. A Nancy Drew Sims 4 murder mystery series? Ooh, that could be fun. I mean, that's kind of what the um, And Then There Were None series is, which I really do need to finish season two. You gotta watch Buffy, you'll love Willow. Yeah, I have heard good things, for sure. Mr. Wizard Kitten and I just started watching um, Schitt's Creek for the first time last night, and oh my gosh, hilarious. David, you David. <laughs> We are loving it. The characters are just so good. Honor shall be blue, courage shall be red, and your loyalty shall be green. I should have this written down. Love the theme song, theme song for Buffy, excellent. How the people who work at making Nancy Drew games get all the cultural stuff and locations. Every once in, and the voice actors too. Most of the voice actors are local to Washington State. Um, sometimes they did go on little vacations to do research for the games. We know this because Her Interactive used to do these cool, um, cool behind the scenes things. So now we're at the end, exactly. And the I think I see what the symbols in the stained glass mean now. Let's see. Purple rose, hold diamond, key of queen. But where have I seen a purple rose? And what's a diamond key? Oh, Nancy. I know. The theme song of Xena. Awesome. I also have not seen Xena. Let's see. Elevator. Did they go to New Zealand too before they made that game? I'm not sure if they went to New Zealand before um, Shatter Medallion. I can't remember for sure. That'd be cool. Sorry for constantly saying this. I'm just nervous. For the end? Why are we nervous for the end? is close to Deception Island. Exactly. Which could be why that game is so successful, honestly, because they knew the location so well and were able to get a lot of the really cool nuances. This game is so cozy. Who does the best foreign accent in a Nancy Drew game, in your opinion? That's hard for me to say because most of the accents... Um, I'm not familiar with the original language. I don't think the British accents are horrible in Curse of Blackmore Manor, but I have a feeling that some of our fellow detectives from the UK would, <laughs> who actually have those accents, would say otherwise. Greetings, Mia. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. How are you? We are very close to the end. We are just about to go into the tower for the last time. No, just nervous, period. How come? 
What's wrong? I always saw it at Sam's Club when you were little. I always wanted to. I was too embarrassed to ask your parents to get it. Oh. <laughs> it is still um, it's possible not. to find, too. If you're you're looking for a a cozy little throwback. And across we go. Miwako was accurate? Yes, because Miwako's, um, Miwako's uh, actress was actually a native speaker of Japanese, correct? In which case, that one would be the best. <laughs> Deception Island is the best. I love that game. If her did go to New, e New Zealand to research Shatter Medallion, they did a terrible job. It's so generic. I agree. I need something to pry these tiles off. Destroy the centuries-old artwork. Get it, Nancy. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Blue. The solution is found within. Red, hope to those who search. Green, the diamond of misery is in my journal. Okay, so I think... I think this is the red one. I can't remember. And then this is green. I, for some reason, don't have this in my handy-dandy detective notebook. Looks like a keyhole of some sorts. Okay, let's try blue here and green here. There we go. Okay. Ooh! The diamond! Whoa! Will you look at that sparkly rock? And me without my sunglasses. Hi, Lisa. How did you get in here? I followed you, of course. Turns out a nosy goody two-shoes detective is good to have around after all. Now, why don't you toss me that big honkin' diamond so I can blow this popsicle stand and never set foot in Lamo, Wisconsin again? Lisa, you must be kidding me. This diamond belongs in a museum in France. <laughs> yeah? Well, I belong in the lap of luxury, and that diamond's gonna get me there. Hasn't anybody ever told you to mind your own business? Oh, many times. Well, maybe this time you'll learn. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry. My spicy devil villain Venom won't last for long. But I'm afraid by the time you get your eyes back, you'll have missed my grand exit. <coughs> so you're the one who trapped me in the elevator. Ooh, you are a smarty pants. But let's not forget about your little frostbite incident. I'm the rotten friend who locked you outside too, you know. Just trying to keep you on your toes, Nancy. Didn't want you to get soft on your vacation. As a Midwesterner, I feel attacked. Agreed. Are you the one who conked me on the head in the locker room? Ouch. <laughs> I bet that hurt. But I had to get the medallion somehow, didn't I? I hope we can still be friends. Right, Sophie? She has to pause and look at the bottle. <laughs> Why did you leave Jacques' medallion in Hotchkiss's room? <coughs> And Hotchkiss's medallion out in the shed. To spread suspicion around, of course. You know, to play with your mind. Plus, I was at a dead end. I got the two messages from the stained glass window, but then what? I knew you would figure it out, so I decided to put the medallions in your hands and let you lead the way. Why are you doing this? <coughs> Haven't you heard? It's a material world, sister, and I am a material girl. Photojournalism pays peanuts, you know. And who wants to work for a living anyway? I was made for a tropical climate, lounge chairs and cabana boys. Why did you have to vandalize that beautiful library? Just a little translation mix-up. When I read the message from Hotchkiss's medallion, I thought it meant Diamond of Misery in the library. Whoops, <laughs> guess I went a little overboard looking for it in there. Anyway, enough with the questions, Nancy. You'll just have to read the rest in the papers. I've got to stop her. Phil and Venom relax. It's pepper spray. Help! Get me out of here! It stinks down here. It's all moldy. Darn you, Nancy Drew. 
You're the worst friend a diamond thief could ever have. Is Lisa a Taurus? <laughs> to think I almost became friends with a diamond thief. Everyone at Wickford Castle is resting easier now that Marie Antoinette's journal and her famous diamond are safe and sound. The journal, the diamond, and the medallions are all going to be featured in a new Marie Antoinette exhibit in Paris. And it looks like everyone will be rewarded. <laughs> Except Lisa, of course. First, she missed her plane to Rio, and now she's going to be charged with attempted grand theft. Professor Hodgkiss is thrilled because the French government has granted her permission to publish Marie's journal in the U.S. before it gets returned to France. This ought to help prove her theory about Marie's character once and for all. Thanks to Jacques and his great-grandfather's efforts to find the journal, the Brunet name is being celebrated all over France. In the meantime, Jacques and Isabel have eloped. It's so romantic. I showed Dexter the poem that Ezra Wickford wrote him, and he was relieved to know that his old pop didn't carry any hard feelings to his grave. All the talk shows want Dexter to tell his story on national television, but he keeps turning them down. I guess he doesn't want to be famous or infamous. But when Christy Lane called and asked Dexter to be her business partner, he accepted. With her business sense and Dexter's expert knowledge of the castle, I think they'll make a great team. So, you know what they say, Dad. Il n'est jamais trop tard de changer l'histoire. It's never too late to change history. Me, I'm determined to go out and enjoy this snow before some other case comes up. See you soon. Love, Nancy. Who said we were friends? <laughs> yes, this ending dialogue is so good. Her villain monologue really is her downfall because she stands there for so long that our eyes clear up and then we can just get her. How did she land on her feet? Why would Nancy want to be friends with the bad guy? So if, what if Lisa gets out of the tower? She's still stuck in the castle because there's no in. True. Oh, good point, Alex. That would have been cool. Oh, this music is so good. Melted the snow with her spicy devil villain venom. Wickford Castle would be such a cool place to grow up in, right? Could help them a lot if they decide to do a Nancy Drew game in Australia. That would be so cool. All right, let's pop into our little loading screen. <laughs> our beautiful loading screen and our beautiful music. And say our goodbyes our announcements we have officially finished um the 10th game in my top 10 for the nancy drew 2021 streamathon we are making good progress in this streamathon very exciting the loading screen i guess that's how overt narcissists are <laughs> always wanted more locations in danger by design i agree so next game, next game. Good night, Spectro. See you later, Skylarville. We did it. Thank you so much for joining, Sophie. I need sleep, indeed, Spectro. Have a good sleep. Thank you, Juan. You too. Yes, Ray Marie just plopped it in chat. Next stream is Message in a Haunted Mansion this coming Monday, August second. That may be hmm, either an afternoon or an evening stream. Message in a Haunted Mansion, I absolutely adore. Such a good game. Very spooky in the best possible way. Goodbye and good night, Pillow Craze. Have a great rest of your evening. See you later, Tara. Thank you so much for joining. Great birthday treat. Yay, I'm so happy, Countess. Goodbye, Joshua. Goodbye, Susan. See all you detectives Monday. Monday message in a Haunted Mansion. Monday message mansion. <laughs> Lots of M's. A non-fellow detective who made this <laughs> loading screen. You are so talented, right? I love this loading screen so much. Technically, August 2nd is tomorrow. This is true. You are ahead of us, Spectro. <laughs> August 2nd for me. August, se August 2nd Central Standard Time. See you later, Robert. Thanks for joining. Awesome. Thank you so much, Soap. So good to see you. Thank you so much for the wonderful stream, Caitlin. Thank you for joining, Sarah. Lurking and working. You got this, Sarah. So grateful for the stream's kind and warm and beautiful company. I so agree. This community is lovely. Thank you, everyone, so much. 
All right. Thank you so much to the patrons over at Mystique Manor for your continued support and for all of the super stickers used in chat today for helping to support the stream. Thank you everyone also for supporting streams by attending the streams, engaging in chat, and overall just being an awesome fellow detective community. If you would like to follow any of the channel socials, the Instagram, Discord, and Patreon are linked in any of my most recent videos in the description down below. If you've been enjoying the content, if you enjoy Nancy Drew and Sims 4 content in general, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more of that Nancy Drew Sims for content. The next stream will be on Monday, August 2nd. We will be playing Message in a Haunted Mansion. I will post the exact time for that stream uh, the day before on the Instagram stories, Discord announcements, and the YouTube community tab. So thank you everyone so, so much for joining. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Saturday, a great rest of your weekend. Your mom's birthday is Monday. Excellent. We'll have a great birthday celebration. Get to celebrate birthday during one of the streams next week because it falls between them. Exactly, Ray Marie. OMG, so excited. Happy almost birthday, Leo Queen. Thank you so, so much, Sarah. That's so kind. So kind of you all. Yes, my birthday is next week. Uh, very excited. Will be wonderful. And yes, thank you everyone so, so much. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. I adore you all. And toodaloo. Oh, Faith, thank you so, so much for that super sticker with the bye-bye. I appreciate it so much. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for that support. Oh, your mom's birthday is Tuesday. Well, that's perfect. And $1 for the Patreon goal, exactly. All right, now I'll officially say goodbye. Thank you, goodbye.